Good morning and welcome back to WIS Today. Do you have your deck of cards? If you don't, go run and find a deck of cards. You will need them because we have magician John Tudor joining us this morning to share some of his secrets. Magicians don't do that very often, so it's a treat for us this morning. He normally can be spotted at events throughout the Midlands, but just like everyone else, business is at a bit of a standstill for him. John joins us right now via Skype. John, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Hey, can you see me okay? How about this? Oh. Yes. Oh! Let's start with a little something here now. Don't blink your eyes. It happens kind of fast. See? Oh. See? Stop it. It happens kind of fast. See? Oh, yeah. It happens kind of fast. <laughs> I'll use those to teach you how to do something later. Yeah, oh, well, magic is, magic is something that, that. Magic is something that I feel that we all really need right now. You know? We need a little happiness, a little color, a little something to believe in. Nice. And magic Ooh. doesn't hide things. Magic actually makes you see things more clearly. Here, watch this. This is my super expensive, fantastic special effects. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You like, you like my special effects? Yeah. yeah here, let's try to get Ooh. Now. Now, oh my looking gosh. into my crystal ball, I can see that all of you know. out there need some magic, too. Oh, definitely. How are you this morning? <laughs> are I'm ready. ready. Let's and go. We're amazed already. <laughs> well, I'm just chilling here in my home studio where since uh, everything's been locked down, we've been doing virtual shows and workshops for uh, and storytelling shows for families and for parties as well as uh magic happy hours over zoom for business clients and when we do things for that business okay? clients awesome, John? yeah when well, we do things for your I more grown-up folks are standing by they... go ahead no i was just gonna say you got my boys all excited they grabbed the deck of cards they got bubbles they're trying to figure out how to do all these <laughs> tricks already uh, <laughs> As I said, we do an online workshop. You can go to uh, tutormagic.com, T-U-D-O-R-M-A-G-I-C.com, and it will have information. Just call me directly, and we can we can do a party for you or a workshop or even just a private show for you or for your business right through this computer. And in just a second, I'm wow. going to show you how I have been able to sort of predict the future. Hmm. I'm okay. going to have... I'm going to have one person here think of a suit, you know, like a heart, spade, a diamond, or a club. Yeah. And then another person is going to think of uh, the letter or the number, the ace through the ten or the jack through the king. And when I ask you to what? Wait, no, not, wait, now? Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me get this. I got a package. Come in. John Tudor, oh man, sorry, sorry, this is awkward timing, I know, but, um, here, let's see what somebody sent me, oh man, take a look at that, not much, what is it, oh, a carrot, ah, we know what that's for, the carrot must be for the magic rabbit, it's a bus. and this, this is my partner, Lucy. Say hi, Lucy. What yeah, Lucy, where were you? Lucy always wears a costume when we do our shows, too. So let me put her costume on. There you go. Wow. Say hello to my little friend. I'm going to tip this just a bit so you can see us better. There you go. Now, as I was saying about uh, uh, reading your minds, I made a little prediction earlier. I'd like one of you to think of a suit club, heart, spade, or a diamond. Okay. Doesn't matter who. And now say it out loud. Cammy, go ahead. Okay, Madeline, say it. Me? Okay. Diamond. Yeah. Diamonds. A girl's best friend. Yes, Now, obviously. another one of you, think of a, uh, a letter or a number that would go with the suit. Okay. Judy, you pick. You and Aiden pick. Seven. Seven. So we're looking for a seven of diamonds? Yeah. Seven. 
seven of diamonds. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me take out the cards. And I'm going to hold them up a little bit. Try to see if you can spot the seven of diamonds. Can you spot it? No. Can't spot it? No. Oh, well, mm. this is where I need my helper here. Okay, Lucy. Lucy. Here we go, Lucy. I need for you to pull out a card. Just pick one. Here we go, Joe. Oh, she's got one right there. Look, look, look. One card in the pack is turned over. Now, Lucy, pull it all the way out. Pull it all the way out. And that card is the seven of Stop diamonds. It. Of course. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> my little partner. First of all, Lucy is incredible. My cat could never pull that off. So that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Lucy, you have earned the right to go play this morning. So here, go run around and, and Hi, play. <laughs> oh my gosh! So, so yeah, online John, magic is awesome. Online magic has become a big thing just in the last really couple of months. Uh, it's increased about 400% the number of people that are performing online, and I'm very happy to be doing it here. We're doing it for people uh, really all over the Carolinas. And a few up the East Coast, as I said, and uh, shows, workshops, happy hours, and also coming in the next week or two, not sure what it's going to start, but we're going to start doing what I call tutor talks, which are like TED Talks, except with John Tudor, and I'll talk about what I want to talk about. Now, Love it. Last week, John, uh, we have about three minutes okay. left. Do you right, have um, something that you can show some of the kids at home? Sure, sure, I do. Uh, you have to be sure you don't have any distractions as you do. This is the only thing. Now, as okay. you're getting ready, have everybody out there. Yeah, sorry. Everybody out there. Bzz, bzz, sorry, we have mosquitoes, you know. Bzz, bzz. Oh, look. And you could change the mosquito into a handful of cards. Ta-da! Oh, I, I cannot. <laughs> now, this is just something very simple, of course. Yeah. All you need, all you need is just a little handful of the cards, okay? And promise me you'll practice yeah. this at least once or twice, kids, before you go and show it to mom on Mother's Day, okay? Now, you don't have to have big hands for this either. I happen to have big hands, but you don't have to have okay. them. All you do is take the cards and put them in a little stack like that, okay? And then you put them in your hand. Something like this. Now you don't have to palm them or anything fancy. You could just curl your whoops. You could just curl your fingers in, so you hold them and you let that hand drop on your right side, and then you turn a little bit to your left, and you start talking, and you get distracted. You get to bzzz, distracted, bzzz, and people's eyes will follow your finger even on the screen. All right. Your cards are down here. Now watch what I do. This hand comes up, slaps the other hand, oh. and you show the cards. See? That's making your attention go where you want. It's something magicians use and politicians. We call it misdirection. Is where you're directing people's attention. So, just to recap. Well... we'll Recap. Yeah. We got time to recap. Yeah, you have it on your right yeah, side, behind your leg. You see the bug. You get them to really look, and as you do, you turn around the other way. So the cards are in the hand closest to the person. Then you stop, and you're gonna slap the bug. Watch. Pause, and then slowly spread it out. And it looks like you've changed a, a, a nasty bug into some cards. What could be better? I love it. Judy's I'll have to throw them all over that. the floor, but I'll have to practice. <laughs> I don't usually throw them on the floor, but, you know. See, sometimes you just John, we really appreciate it. You did See? fantastic. See? Thank you bravo, so much for joining us. Bravo. Thank you. <laughs> TutorMagic.com. <laughs>